Shalom. We are glad that we could come together at the end of this week as we are spending time in devotions and meditating on the wisdom of God. It has been an enriching week to know and understand different aspects of the wisdom of God. We come to the last part of knowing and meditating, which is seeking the wisdom of God. How do we seek wisdom? James 1 verse 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. As we go about our lives, every day you and I are called to make very many decisions. It may be for our families, for our friends, for ourselves. It may be in our businesses, in our health, in our homes, even in disciplining our children, disciplining our work, our time. We are so aware that the outcome of our decisions have consequences. So we need to be careful in the way that we make decisions because it determines what our outcome generally is. Wisdom is demanded of us because we need to know whether we are doing the right thing or we, we are going the wrong way. The verse today is a reminder of God's guidance and His commitment to us. He says, if you lack wisdom, so there are times that we may not know what to do. We may be so confused, so clueless. And God says, let him ask of God. It's a commitment. God puts himself out. He's telling us that he is going to guide us into our next step. It says we can ask of God. We know that in, uh, in, in scripture, it says God is the embodiment of wisdom that in Christ Jesus is the power of God and the wisdom of God. So whenever we are in places where we need wisdom to make those important decisions, we need to come before God, ask Him, and He will be more than willing to give it to us. A verse in Proverbs says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all your getting, get understanding. This is something that we are asked to do. So no matter what you are going through today, in your daily business or issues of today, you can bow down wherever you are, whatever you may be doing. You may be at your workplace or, or sitting in school or even at your home needing to make a very crucial and important decision. Take advantage of that invitation God has given you. Ensure that you are determined to seek that wisdom because we know when we seek the wisdom of God, the outcome is far greater, is far more glorious. Never hesitate to come to His presence, to His guidance because He is our counsellor. The Holy Spirit is the counsellor who is more than willing to give you the wisdom that you and I require today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, so we need your wisdom so much. Lord, we can be so foolish at every turn of our lives. But thank you for the invitation you give us that if we need wisdom, we ask of you and you will be more than glad, more than happy, more than um, willing to give us those words of wisdom. Teach us, Father, to seek after you, to seek after your wisdom as gold and as silver. Thank you for this privilege once again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.